Oh, hello everybody, how you doing? And welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 36. Good day, we're at a brand new place. I've been busy. Check out the inventory, it's okay. It's not impressively full of sand, I'll admit it, but I have more sand than I had just a minute ago. I've been digging and digging and digging for today's project and I think I'm finally, probably almost just about done. Now, uh, do you recognize where we are? This is this is a big question. If you say no, I I, I know you missed an episode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where we are? Over by the ice source, the ice deposit, the the frozen ocean that we found a couple episodes back. There are the icebergs over there that I was tearing down. This time off camera, in between episodes, I went ahead and set this thing up, corners and all. It's pretty sweet. And then if we go through it, we'll find another one of these, the, the first one that I actually built. Again, corners included, of course always and then this road right here with a boat waiting on it for me what is this well of course this is a portal over to what will be the resource desert and the frozen ocean two in one which is perfect anytime we need sand we'll go down this tunnel anytime we need ice we'll go down this tunnel now i did go ahead and as you can see here put a bunch of ice in here started the glass panes i didn't have enough glass though and uh, this sand is not going to be for that glass. So the plan, I'll come back to this project a little bit later and finish it up. I will definitely need to block spawns in this hallway because unfortunately, this one is in the nether waste pile. Now a little bit of a difference uh, between this hallway and the other one, uh, we have packed ice here instead of blue ice. And the other one, we put blue ice because I wanted things to be even quicker. I figure this tunnel is a whole lot shorter and hopefully I won't need to go down it as much so we can go ahead and you know, cheap out a little bit. Get the pack dice. That's perfect. Today, we are finally going to go ahead and start work and finish work over on the Blaze Base. But before we go there, we need to head back over to the jungle that we beautified last episode. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. And grab some supplies. We need a couple materials for what will be known as the Blaze Base. For now, the Blaze Base will just be a Blaze Farm. But eventually, and by eventually, very, very soon, maybe the, the blaze base will be expanded into a whole nether fortress outpost and a whole nether fortress base it's gonna be pretty sweet so we're gonna need our silk touch big axe and some blue ice i think i have blue ice laying around somewhere here yep mm -hmm, just a little bit i can't remember if i have my basalt generator set up still we're also probably gonna want to have some blackstone i don't have very much blackstone though so we'll, we'll start with that i'm thinking maybe a little bit of warp warp block as well definitely some dyes though but this is where we have a little problem. I think I'm going to have to head over to another base because I have roses. I can get some bone meal and get roses, not a problem. But I don't have any sunflowers, and I honestly can't remember if I ever found any sunflowers. Definitely going to want to have some warm-toned glass today, I think, and also probably some black stained glass as well. So we'll bring some of that, some bone meal. I'll have to go get the flowers. Of course, I'll need a little bit of dirt to plant the things. And then, in terms of supplies, that might be almost just about it. Now, I really need chalker boxes. We should solve that problem soon. For now, we can go ahead and just use the ender chest, put some things in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually, 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 before I do anything, uh, somebody's here trying to sell axolotl leads, and I feel really bad about it. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did they leave? Did they leave? Oh, they might have left. All right, all right, axolotl. I got you, I got you. We, we seem to be good. I'll meet you back over at the Blaze Base. Either I'm blind or I don't have any here. I can't find any sunflowers over at this base over here, so I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit more over to the zombie spawner plains over here. There's definitely got to be some sunflowers here, hopefully. Please. I, I really need sunflowers, sunflowers, Minecraft. Yeah, come on. Come on. Uh, sunflowers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nervous laughter. Nervous laughter for sure. This is not good. Well, that's a little disappointing. I couldn't find any sunflowers, literally anywhere. So, I have like 50 dandelions and said hopefully that'll be good. Uh, Java edition, we actually can't use bone meal on dandelions, the small flowers, to duplicate them. But on bedrock edition, you actually can. But here we are over at the Blaze Base. Today, we are going to transform this place into a fully stacked, fully sorted, good-looking place. Hopefully, I'll have enough dye for what I want to do. If I don't... Uh, then we might have to change the plans a little bit or I'll have to go back one of those two So most of the work that we're gonna do today will be done down here But some of it definitely will be done up top as well 
This is the real blaze base. Up there, we'll probably set up like a small nether hub type thing. Just basically a stopping station. Okay, I have that there. I have this here. All right, all right. Pretty solid start. So where we're at, we're basically above a gigantic lava ocean. I think it would be really, really cool to actually show off this lava ocean and show off the nether view around here. So how do we do that? Well, big glass walls and maybe, maybe a glass floor as well. I think that would be pretty cool. Now for today's build, I'm basically going in blind here. I have obviously a little bit of an idea as to what I wanna do, but when it comes to how this build should exactly look, well, I'm not exactly entirely sure. What we'll do is we'll start by smelting up a bunch of glass. Then, after I get all of this in the furnace, we'll actually slide down here and start digging things out. What I do know is that I want this to be big and open. So, somewhere in here, if we keep digging, we'll hit the back of the blaze farm. This spot right here, this is perfect. I'd like to actually expose half of the back of the blaze farm, if that makes sense. So. What I wanna do is actually climb back up here and then go over to this spot right here. This is the middle side. I'm thinking that the wall will be right here. So basically, we'll dig out everything on this side of the wall and the wall, of course, because we have to put something else there. So I'm gonna have to dig down a little bit, be really careful here, dig this out a little bit, and we'll have to come back in and like probably get a little bit more basalt and things like that. But all of, whoa, 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 whoa all of this, not that, gets dug out. I'm gonna have to climb back in there, dang it. Oh man, that's what I'm trying to not do. Okay, uh, wow, Blaze. Hello, hi again. You remember me, yeah? No, no, you don't remember me. Go away. Um, oh no, where did I put that thing? All right, there we go. We closed that off. So we're going to want to carefully dig all of this out. We have our blocks right here, so none of this will affect any of the redstone at all. After we dig everything out, we might have to come back in here and clean it up a little bit because, of course, I want it to look really, really good. So like this spot right here, we could actually probably take that out and have that shown a little bit. That might look cool. Then like back here behind this thing, definitely gets dug out. Now, uh, for this farm to work, how we set it up, we will need to have some sort of AFK platform. So I'm thinking, like, right up here, for now, just temporarily, we'll leave this bridge connecting over to this spot, but we will be able to AFK right over by the ladder, and that's sort of what I'm thinking. I think if we had our AFK spot, like, on the ladder, then we could climb down into this farm, stop part of the way down, you know, like, by the ladder, and AFK. Then, once this thing feels or sounds uh, filled up a little bit, then we could go right down the ladder, take out the blaze. Then, when we're ready, we could climb right back up the ladder again, and you know, the same process, over and over and over again. Now, while I dig out this farm right here, get it ready for today's build, I have to tell you about something gigantic that happened. Super exciting. So, this past weekend, and by past weekend, I mean, uh, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but past weekend, I got really, really ahead with videos because I had a very, very big, special day. Elites, it happened. The big day happened. It was pretty last second, but I am now officially married to, well, I was gonna say my fiance, but I guess you're not my fiance anymore. To my wife, my wife and I got married. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, again, I stress that you really, really should follow me on Twitter. I talked about it on Twitter, like the day after it happened, I think it was. We got married on Halloween. It was a super small last second thing. Like we planned it in like literally three weeks. If you can remember, we got engaged at the end of the last year. Again, something I talked about on Twitter, probably in a video or something too, but definitely 100% talked about it on Twitter. Blaze are gonna have to turn down down today all right anyways i definitely talked about it on twitter we got engaged last year like a week before christmas we've been together for like six years this will be our sixth year we've been together since high school and we really just felt like it was the time but uh covid you know covid's a thing so we kind of had a really really small ceremony there were like probably like 10 12 people there all our immediate family it was super fun super nice and just literally perfect there was a great chocolate fountain which was really really good there was some really good food we had like super casual food at the wedding like we're talking spaghetti hamburgers that type of thing and overall it was just really really fun and if you sent me anything nice on twitter about it when i talked about it i want to say thank you I, I really appreciate it i showed her too she loves it absolutely loves that kind of thing now of course of course you already know the good boy himself Mr. Felix was there definitely was there and he was the best boy absolutely the best boy other than the fact that he wants to eat everything right now absolute best boy and it was an elite honor I must say to have him around now Franklin on the other hand unfortunately that guy had to sit this one out Franklin you see would not do well in those situations so he was at home he heard about it after but anyways that is the big news and that's why I at least I feel like I've been kind of 
like low-key on Twitter the past couple weeks is because I've been like crazy, crazy busy. But yeah, the wedding is done. October 31st, super cool, super spooky, and it was a really, really great time. Back to the build. It's getting dangerous down here. We have a gigantic uh, pit of lava below us, and I need to make this platform a whole lot safer. So, this part of the build is going to be a little bit dangerous, admittedly dangerous. We need to get glass in and not get shot by gas. That is, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, for sure. I think, though, if we're careful, we can make it happen. This is what I'm thinking with the shape of this room. So, uh, I've cleared everything out here. Uh, I'm thinking that the wall will probably... Honestly, maybe be like one out from there, maybe like three or something, something like that. It'll be pretty close to here. And then I'm thinking like a half circle. That would be really cool. So this will be the back wall right here. And then we'll dig out, we'll figure out exactly how far I need to go to create a half circle. So let's see. Uh, if this were the back wall right there, maybe we go, I don't know, five feels like it would be good. Then we could go one, two, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we could go... I don't know, maybe we could go two, uh, five, three, two, then we could go one, and then we could go two, uh-huh, 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 and then we could go three, and then we would go out right here, okay, Ooh, uh, well, no, no, that's perfect, I think that's perfect, because then we'll land right here in the middle of the five wall, okay, and then this is gonna be like a couple blocks wider than I thought, but that's fine, that's fine, so all I need to do is figure out this back wall, which, uh, spoiler alert, I've already figured that one out too. I've gotta say, the best thing about working on an experience farm is if your tools get low, boom, you just go down there and mend them up. Not a big deal at all, and the experience from this thing is literally insane. This thing is so amazing, so perfect. I love this farm. I am obsessed with this thing, and it's gonna keep all of my stuff in literal perfect shape. All right, so this is where all of the dyes and the flowers come in. We start with lots and lots of red dye. There we go. Then we're going to need the yellow stuff too, which I already have. So we'll turn maybe some of that to that, and then maybe a little bit more of that to that. There we go. Now, then we go ahead and combine that, make a lot of orange dye. Perfect. First orange dye of the world, a special moment. There we go. We have some more red dye. Let's actually make a little bit more and a little bit more. We have even amounts. Now, we can go ahead and actually turn all of this stuff into stained glass. We need lots of yellow. This is actually maybe going to do it for the yellow. We won't need as much yellow, so we'll just go ahead and go with that. We're going to need lots of orange, okay? And then we're going to need lots of red. Boom. Okay, I have all of the colors that I think I need. What we want to do here is create a really, really sweet gradient. The goal here is to create flames. The flames will be bordered, outlined by polished basalt. We'll probably end up going pretty crazy with the polished basalt salt in this build now of course we have a pyramid right here so i'm gonna have to work that in somehow i'm thinking maybe polished basalt follows down jumps over follows down jumps over so the flames get a little bit bigger the flames at the bottom will start hot so they'll be white and then yellow and then orange and then red and then at the top of the flames we'll do black stained glass now i'm thinking on this wall um we could actually save materials even more by doing glass panes instead of glass blocks because that'll create a little bit of depth which is always a good thing but i'm gonna need a lot of basalt way more than i have right now so i think it's time for me to stand here generate a little bit of basalt and then come back in and we'll start working on it maybe i have enough maybe i don't we'll see so we'll start with the bottom actually we're gonna frame this in so this is the middle that's gonna go straight out what we're gonna do down here on the floor of this thing is do glass floor. Now the glass floor on the bottom is gonna be a whole lot more plain, a whole lot more basic. The glass floor down here will actually just end up being black stained glass. I think it's probably pretty smart to start by getting the floor in. So we're gonna have to go over, I don't know how far, maybe like this far, maybe like that far. That'll be a start. We'll start there. Uh, same with the other side, but we're probably gonna focus on that side a little bit more first then behind this thing by the way we're gonna switch this up we're just gonna put solid blocks back there or something because i actually won't go back behind this thing so back wall just like this we have that going all the way down and then over here we do glass blocks so blades don't get pushed back there and items don't fall back here we'll clear this up a little bit make it look a little bit better but it's also just gonna kind of look however it looks i don't care about it that much then on this side we're gonna carefully dig out the floor this floor is no longer needed over here so we can get rid of all of that we could just leave the black zone is fine and there is a little platform down below this thing too we're gonna have to get down there and take it out because we obviously will end up seeing it i want this to be clear and look like it's just lava down there all right well here goes nothing we jump down here 
dig this out real quick, real quick. We'll fill that in just like that. That's fine. That's fine. And then start digging all of this out. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That too. That too. Sorry, all of those wonderful blocks. You're all gone. Polished basalt. I don't really care about you. Uh, or hold on, hold on, hold on. We go whoa, 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 like this. The lag spike. I don't like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Look at the platform was never there. And if I needed the platform down there, well, it would be nearly impossible to get back down there now. So hopefully, hopefully I really thought about that. And hopefully I don't need that there. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. And you know what? You know what? To make it fancier. There we go. We'll turn that just like that. Then we can see it. Looks pretty good. Putting glass on the floor down here is going to keep things nice and safe. You see, glass is not a spawnable block, so mobs won't be able to spawn down here. So, like, uh, extra blaze or wither skeletons or zombified piglins or literally anything, any soul sand valley mobs, yeah, they won't be spawning down here, which is something that I absolutely love the sounds of. I don't want to have to worry about mobs when I'm using this thing. I want this to be pretty kind of, like, AFKable. Like, I'm not really paying attention, and maybe I'm editing, and, you know, I just come down here, take off mobs, go back up, and yes, uh, by the way, obviously, this thing is not going to be symmetrical because of how it's set up, but it's okay. I think it'll be cool to have all of that exposed. Small problem that I'm just realizing, like literally just now. Um, the land. The land exists up here, so you know what? Maybe it's not a problem. It's actually a good thing. We don't have to do glass all the way up anymore. We actually don't because it wouldn't make sense. If we did glass all the way up, I'd have to dig this all out, and you know... I don't know if I need to. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to start with this, just like this, and maybe I do something else in the middle. I don't know what it'll be, but something else in here. Maybe, honestly, more nether brick. We can set it back in the wall right there. That would look pretty good. Uh, and then, once I get a little bit lower, we could do another frame, like another line, and then do the glass wall. And I'll save even more glass, and that will be perfect. Big pro tip, if you're working on a big project in the nether and you have a ton of extra netherrack, well, if you have a lot of fuel, you could actually take that netherrack, put it in a furnace, and actually smelt it up into nether bricks. Now, nether bricks are used to craft nether brick fences, but also nether brick blocks, which I am going to need a lot of. So, here's more of the plan today. This stuff is pointless. I, I, I literally don't need it. it. It's just all extra stuff. So what I'm going to do is every um, once in a while, I'm going to take the blaze rods that I have in here, the nether bricks that I have in here, move them over to this furnace. I definitely need an auto smelter ASAP, but I can use the furnace to smelt up the nether rack that I have and turn it into actually useful things which I definitely will do. So here's the working area. Uh, what we want to do is definitely start with white near the center, the bottom. So I'm thinking white right there probably. Then after the white comes the yellow. The yellow is really, really hot, but not as hot as the white. Then probably mix some orange in here. We definitely don't want it to be to be perfect. I want it to be a little bit random, right? To make it look uh, like natural. So maybe the orange comes down over here, but then wait, maybe there's a little yellow over there. I think that would look good, probably. And then we could also mix some red in here now red is gonna be higher up now because we're working with such a small window here now things are gonna be a little bit different we're not actually gonna put any black up here or maybe we will but but it'll be very very minimal not very much black up there at all actually so let's maybe go ahead and do like yellow coming in there okay wrapping around I think that's looking good so far maybe a little bit of that in here we'll start curving that around I want the fire to kind of look look rounded right like natural so maybe maybe this time this side connects like that okay Okay, and then we have the red over there, maybe orange coming up here, kind of going up a little bit. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do there. I put that in for uh, for now, temporarily. All right, that goes like that. Then maybe that's there. Uh, that could be like that. Okay, okay. Probably layer by layer is going to be the best way to do this. Uh, maybe that goes like that. Not coming out that way. We don't want depth on that like that. No, no, no. Maybe that goes there. Mm-hmm. Does it look hot yet? Mm, I think it looks pretty flamey, pretty, pretty, pretty fiery. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, that's looking like fire. Okay, okay, that's cool. I think now we're probably done with, uh, probably done with the yellow for the most part. Uh, maybe we could do actually like one piece of yellow like coming up, but orange is gonna be the king now, definitely orange, lots of it, maybe over there, but then red starts mixing in too. Okay, I'm excited about this. Okay, a little bit of more orange there than red. Red is gonna come in like crazy. Well, maybe orange right above that one. Uh, right here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe we have, like, another spike of orange somewhere, like, right over there, but then the rest is red. 
All right, then the next row, even more red. Uh huh, uh huh. But then maybe in here, this is where we start getting the black in here too to make the red kind of fade out. So maybe we put red there, red there, and then everything else in here is black, like it's not there. So I'm one short. I have a little bit more. I can make more. Okay, cool. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and climb right back up here with the final touch in. And then we need to take a step back and take a look at our masterpiece. Hopefully, it's a masterpiece. Uh, what do we think? Okay. Okay, fiery, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's good, that's good. It needs some work, though. I think this should probably come out and become orange, yup. Okay, look it, now it's more fiery, yeah, 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 you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, so maybe, maybe here even, this could become red right there. I like the, the random yellow kind of escaping the fire, but there we go. I think that's the shape that we wanted, oh, yeah. We're gonna have to get, like, the land out of here, but look at it. That's fire! For sure, you cannot deny that. That's absolutely fire. That is perfect. The The rest of the walls. So, I'm thinking pretty nether brick heavy here. I'm thinking also that these walls will not be glass. We'll probably have a lot of nether bricks. So, I'm thinking probably solid nether brick blocks back here on this wall going all the way up. And then on the three ones, I want to leave a window. And I'm thinking pouring lava like we did in the nether hub. Pouring down probably. Then on the two sections, I don't know. On the one section, not too sure either. But yeah, pouring lava, lots and lots of nether bricks, which means it's time to go back up here and check out the actual nether brick items. They should probably be all smelted up now, right? Oh, yes, for sure, for sure. There we go. These are the first nether bricks of the world, actually. Now, well, of course, we want to turn these into proper bricks, so there we go. Boom, 32, perfect. Okay, a little bit more, mm-hmm, and a little bit more. Now, this is a great use for all of this netherrack. So I'm, like I said, gonna continue that cycle over and over and over again. Unfortunately, four stacks of netherrack is going to turn into one stack of nether bricks. But still, it's definitely better than no nether bricks. Now, how do I get lava? Well, that's actually pretty easy. Check this out. We grab the lava bucket, and we're only gonna need uh, four pieces of lava for this one, but we grab the lava bucket, we go back up here, and then all we need to do is look around. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some pour it out somewhere. And if not, we'll be able to make our way down to the lava ocean and grab some. It'll be pretty easy. Boom, there's our ticket down, a new staircase, which is perfect. Then all I need to do is get a little bit closer to the lava. So somewhere over here, I'll be able to make my way down. That's how I'll get the lava buckets. But I've done a lot of explaining on camera. I haven't created the meme quite yet. So today we're gonna do a little bit more building off camera. And I'll be back once I've done some building off camera to, to complete the meme and of course show you what I have so far. I'll be back very soon. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to get to that small nether hub today. I'm going to try my best. I, I don't know, though. But this build, oh, boy, this build is coming along, okay? I need to give you a tour of the thing. I need to clear out some inventory space, though. Definitely keep filling this thing up over and over and over again. But uh, come with me and check out the blaze base. It's going really, really well. So, so far, I've been doing exactly what I said I would do. Uh, where's that? bouncy okay i guess it's not here anyways but doing exactly what i said i would do uh plus a little bit of detail so up here here's what we got this is going to be the afk platform you come down this ladder right you can stop right at this area right here right near the spawner and it'll spawn things now technically this afk platform does not need to be all the way up here but i felt that it would be kind of cool being so um you know like up high up here it, it'll be nice i could maybe add another one down low though maybe uh, eventually but for now this is what we have it's connected to the ceiling have a little bit of railings around here with the glass panes technically could probably no i can't fall okay yeah we're good now i've got the lava in over there i don't have the lava in on that side that's what i need to do next but anyways uh climbing uh, down this way into the room here we have a little bit more blocks that i need to remove but down here this is what we have right now we have a glass wall right there we have a glass wall over here fiery for sure definitely if i'm being honest i still love this one a little bit more than that one maybe i need to break up this big area right there but yeah so far so good now i've gone crazy with the detailing over here it's all pretty much finished i've got some brick variation going on in here we have uh nether brick chiseled and cracked variants in there looks pretty good in my opinion definitely breaks up the boring same texture of the nether bricks uh they're beautiful though then over there, those are walls. Got a little detail in there. Yeah, that's pretty much where the build is right now. Now, uh, we need a little bit more lava in over here. And I need to talk about the floor. So, 
the floor I'm having some difficulties with. So I like it and I think it looks really good, like plain and clean and open. But at the same time, I kind of don't know. It's really, really samey. I was thinking about maybe dropping some random blocks in, in the floor, like kind of randomly to, to break up the same texture. But at the same time, not too sure about that one. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking about is maybe, maybe building underneath the glass, but I don't know at the same time. I, I didn't really want to do that. It's going to be kind of annoying to do. Uh, so basically what I'm saying is I don't know what to do with the floor uh, of the room. Kind of a problem. Maybe kind of leaning towards most likely just dropping some some maybe like white stained glass or red. I have a lot of red like randomly like random speckles in here that could kind of work or maybe oh or maybe got a diagonal here hmm hmm aha i have i have a different idea now i did something a little bit different in these areas right here so check this out i decided to leave it open why would i ever leave that open that's really dangerous well we're gonna find out i'm not sure if the gas are gonna be able to see through the lava they might be able to uh but i left it open so i could actually whenever i want to uh, if I have fire resistance potion, which by the way, I forgot to drink my potions today. Sorry about that. But uh, if I wanted to, I could actually climb up the lava fall and out the lava fall to get out into the nether, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. Now, if it becomes a problem in here and gas are seeing through the lava, again, I can't remember if they will. But if, they, if it becomes a problem, I'll just close it up and I'll leave one open. But check that out. Look at it. Look at it pouring through the floor. I think that looks so cool. So, so cool. Now, I was also gonna add something different into this room, but unfortunately, because of the lava that I put in here, I don't know if it's gonna work, because I wanna leave the lava open. I didn't put any glass panes, I wanna leave it like that. Um, I was gonna put an enchanting setup in this room, because I feel like that would kinda make sense, you know? You, you, you come to this room, you can enchant your, your whatever you're doing, but I don't know. I feel a little bit risky about that one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an enchanting setup in the nether hub. You know, like when you land over here instead. So you'll have to go a little bit of a ways to enchant. But I feel like it would be kind of nice to have one over here just in case. Now, one final thing that I have to do with this place over here. Uh, the ladder it needs to be changed to nether bricks for sure. It needs to be a nether brick ladder going all the way up. So like, you know, those are behind it. And then I'm going to actually put some black stained glass panes uh, right in here. So we have a back window. No? Oh, well, you know what? I guess I'm only going to do it on the bottom ones because after the bottom ones, it goes back into the wall. Okay, so we're going to do it a little bit in here like that. And then I guess I'll do something else the rest of the way up. Well, that's a plot twist. I wasn't thinking about that. What could I put in there the rest of the way up? You know what? We've got basalt over there. I don't have any in this build. Maybe we do some basalt in here facing out like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that could work. That could definitely work. Hmm, but what if, what if we do something a little bit different here? Okay, so we'll do that, right, to unite the window. The window is solid and, and framed in and everything. And then up here, what we could do, dig this out and actually, maybe, dig back in. So we have a little bit of depth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, it went behind me. Yep, mm-hmm, just like that, like that. Yep, that's gonna be perfect for the depth. Then all I need to do is block spawns on that block right there, that block right there, easy. Well, 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 where did you come from? Where did you spawn and why are you here? How did you get here? How did you, oh, you spawned over here. Okay, that makes sense, okay. Oh, it's different, that's for sure. Definitely different, I don't know if I like it or not, but there we go, the floor is broken up a little bit more. We've got this cool red diagonal and then like a little pattern in here. I don't know if I love it, but I mean, I feel like it's a little bit better. I, uh, at the same time, I, I feel like I probably shouldn't overthink the floor too much. I, I feel like it's kind of cool how it is, you know, with the lava below it and all. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is leave it like that for now. Now look at all of this netherrack that I have. I have so much netherrack. Now it's time to put the final touches on this farm and then that'll be that. First things first, I'm thinking maybe some planter boxes. Three soul sand on either side. That'll be good. That's a solid start. Then after that, we can come up with probably some trap doors. Now, I can't remember. Uh, actually, 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 never mind about the trap doors. We're going to come in with some signs. Signs definitely won't burn. I think uh, maybe they will. Maybe? I can't remember. There we go. We're going to put some signs in just like that. The signs blend in a lot here, though, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe we should come back in with with some of the netherwood. That would look probably a little bit cooler. But anyways, the point of these things is this right here. I don't actually have any netherwood growing, like, anywhere in the world, which is kind of 
actually weird and i definitely don't want that to be the case so we're gonna go ahead and plant some nether wart and then of course to keep nether wart from falling into the lava we'll block this lava off just a tiny bit just like that that should probably be fine by the way fences are how i block spawns in there i think that looks pretty good so yeah now we have that growing definitely should come back in with maybe crimson wood though that would probably look a little bit better now we definitely need storage here over here this is what i'm thinking just a pile of the things that i kind of you know use but in terms of storage i'm thinking chests and barrels both would be really cool so maybe two chests and then uh, the rest are barrels there we go we've got chests and barrels and furnaces over there the chests and the barrels and uh the, well the furnaces are for smelting the chests and the barrels are for storage i'm probably going to end up with a lot of blaze rods i have a feeling that i will be over here a lot now, uh, in terms of other things in this room, I think that's actually probably going to be just about it for now. Maybe I come back in and add some more stuff to this room a little later, but the goal here, the point of this room, is really just the experience farm. I don't really want to clutter it up with a bunch of things. It's big, it's wide, it's open, but actually, that's kind of how I like it. So, I think... We can say that for today, for now, the blaze base down here is probably pretty much done. We have a few more things, though, that we need to do. Those final things are actually way up this ladder. Next up, I need to finish this room up. Now, this room is going to be a very small room. Warning. This is what I'm thinking. A very small circular chamber, basically. Uh, three right there. We'll go ahead and dig out over here. We'll do three there. We'll do three on that side and then wait for it. We do three again over here. Now, of course, uh, the, the room is going to be small, but I want it to look good. So I'm going to come back in here probably with some of these uh, chiseled bricks. We'll put them in there just like that. So then we end up with something like that. I'm thinking in here I'll probably do slabs. So we'll step up. That'll kind of stop spawns in this hallway. Not that I care about this hallway and spawns that much, but if I could stop it, that would be nice. And then an enchanting setup. I'm thinking the enchanting setup will probably go right here on this wall because if this tunnel were to ever continue like down that way to something else then I would probably continue it right here we'd have the little break and then it would continue so I'll go ahead and throw an enchanting setup over here in this corner figure out how to make this all good and nice looking but small and then I'll be back once it's done all right so i've cleaned everything up check this out this is the lower area got a brewing stand over there too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. harvested the nether wart lots of loot over there in that corner everything should probably be safe here yes technically the barrels are spawnable blocks so maybe i come back in here or you know what uh, definitely i come back in here and do this really quick check this out i've got a couple trap doors right here these will probably blend into the barrels like perfectly so trap door there we go boom trap door there we go boom no more spawns on top of those blocks that is literally perfect now i'm gonna need to come back to this place later on to get everything out of this place but i have actually pretty much finished the top area today so this is what i've come up with check it out boom a small hallway right here enchanting setup that actually doesn't reach all the way to level 30 i still need a couple more bookshelves i just ran out of sugar cane then we have this little area right here with a furnace smelting nether bricks of course the stone cutter ender chest crafting table right there boom spawn proofed hallway right in here everything is looking good because we're in the soul sand valley remember so if we bring the light level up really really high we are golden there we go so boom there we go that is the blaze base for today elites today big shout out to my patrons ground crazy may and neve thank you so much for the support thank you all for watching and until next time gamers stay nethery i'll see you in the next episode goodbye